Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farms. So what do we got going on today? Well, today we are removing the tarp and we are flipping the compost pile. So this is the second part of this 18 day compost series. So stay tuned and follow us along. So if you remember the last video that I did, and I'll link um, a video up here at the top so you can see that, go back and watch that. But that was the first part of this 18 day compost. Originally, we had it in a cage. And since then, the Chicken Whisperer and I have actually flipped it one time to where it is here. Uh, I will tell you guys, after that first four days, I didn't see a whole lot of heat activity. Uh, and I think that was for a couple reasons. One, this tarp was not big enough for that four foot section of metal cage. So I should have had a tarp that was a little bigger. So lesson learned there. I think I lost a lot of the moisture content because of that. And also, I think my temperature was low uh, because I don't have as much green material. So I did talk about that in the previous video that I was kind of doing this with, you know, not a whole lot of green material. Um, so let's kind of see where the temperature is on this now. Um, so I just have a compost thermometer. So we'll go ahead and stick that in here and see what the temperature is. <clears throat> so what you typically want out of this is anywhere from the 150 to 160 degree range. Uh, I don't think mine's going to be as high. Again, one, when it was in the cage. I lost a lot of moisture because the tarp wasn't big enough to keep that moisture in there and two, not having a lot of green material. So right now we are sitting in the center of the pile at about 120 degrees. Um, so not as high in temperature as I was hoping for, uh, but to be perfectly honest with you guys, um, I'm fine with it because this is a learning experience and the only way you're going to learn is by actually doing it. And, uh, you know, I, we never learn from getting it right all the time. Sometimes you got to screw up. And uh, the good thing is, is that spring is here and the bottom pasture should start growing. So I should have plenty of green material. I'm going to let that keep growing up a little bit more anyway. And then I'll cut it with a zero turn and I'll have a whole lot of green material to mix in with this. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this pile and flip it back to the original area that it was at before. And uh, we'll go ahead and cover it back up, let it sit for another two days. And then we'll, uh, I'll try to do a video in between there. And I'll be straight up with you guys. Uh, it's it's kind of hard for me sometimes to get videos in, uh, mainly because uh, I have a full-time job. So this is not the only thing I do. And I'm also, uh, you know, a single dad. So when I have the kids, uh, you know, while they like to do some videos, a lot of times they just want to hang out with their dad. And if you look on some of my Facebook and Instagram posts for Class Haven Farms, you know, I kind of talk about, you know, uh, single dad homestead. I'll put that hashtag in there because that's that's basically what this is. So, you know, you take a guy like me, I got a full time job plus taking care of the animals, you know, the chickens, the goats, the dogs, and then taking care of the kids and running the practices and tutoring sessions and all that good stuff. And then working the extra because going through a divorce is not cheap. And uh, you have a lot of extra bills that come along with it that you don't really plan on when you first go through the process. So not only do you have your, your regular expenses, but you have extra expenses that come on. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and flip this pile. Uh, we'll go ahead and water this area down and I'll flip it. I might try to see if I can figure out how to put you guys on a, uh, on a uh, fast loop so you can just kind of watch me flip this pile. All right, 
So we're just going to get some of these scraps that are here. And I'll get those pitched up here on the top. And then I'll show you guys how I finish this pile off. Now, the method that I'm using here is I actually found it through uh, a YouTube channel called uh, Perma Pasture Farms. Uh, and I'll link their, uh, their channel down bottom. But that's where I kind of got this idea originally for the 18 day compost. And again, I'm doing it because I need some good soil. Uh, what I'm learning is this is probably gonna be good mulch. It's probably not gonna be good compost and soil for my seeds. But again, so uh, you live and learn, and this is how you figure it out. So if you guys noticed when I did the time lapse, every once in a while, you would see me going around the pile going like this. And what I'm doing is I'm setting the base up because what you don't want to do is just throw everything into one big pile. And then what happens is your pile gets top heavy. And if it gets windy or something, it'll blow over. And the problem with that is it'll throw your tarp off and then you're going to lose all that moisture. Now I will tell you guys, compared to when it was in the cage, when the tarp wasn't big enough, this definitely has all the moisture that I needed to have. So as far as moisture goes, I think I figured that problem out. But I still think that my main issue is going to be, for this batch at least, not having enough green material. All right, so after you get everything piled up, what you then wanna do is go around and kick your pile. Now the reason why you're kicking your pile is you're taking all of this material that you've transitioned from here to there, well, you, you don't want to lose that, all right? You've put a lot of work into this, and you don't want to lose it. So you just want to go around your pile and kick it in so it stays tight, and you can keep it protected with the tarp to keep your moisture content where you want it to be. Again, before, when it was in the cage, my tarp wasn't big enough, and I lost a lot of my moisture content that I had added with the hose. Um, so I'm thinking that's the issue, is losing moisture and not having enough green material. Something else, and I'll bounce this off of you guys, and if anybody might know the answer to this, uh, drop a comment down below. But I have a water softener here at this house. And of course, with a water softener, that uh, has salt that goes into the water system. So I don't know if maybe using my water from the hose uh, is bad for this because of having salt in it. Um, and if that turns to be the case, if I figured out the moisture, so I know what that problem is, if I add more green material and I'm still not getting that 150, 600 degree temperature range that I want to get when this is covered up, then I'm going to try changing the water out. Now, the way I'll change the water out is I have some water drums that I had for my old house, um, rainwater drums, and I connect, can connect those into my downspouts so I can try to get some rainwater. And uh, sorry, it, uh, two young roosters are just going crazy right now. I think we're going to have to get rid of one of them. Uh, when you got two, man, they're just getting way too competitive. So I think it's going to be time for one of them to go. But uh, I got a funny feeling that if the water is the issue, which it could be, uh, then I at least can start pulling from my downspouts. But that, you know, falls on us getting rain. Um, and if our spring was anything like our winter, we might not have a lot of rain, just like we didn't have a lot of snow. I'll show you some of the other stuff that we have going on here at the farm. Of course, we have the chickens and they're doing doing their thing down there and i'll also probably be doing some videos down here of some more firewood splitting because i just had a buddy who took some trees down at the beginning actually at the end of summer and the kids and i went over and picked up a bunch of firewood from them so we have this pile here to split and this pile is uh consistent of some maple, some oak, some pine, which will go in the burn pit for us for outside, um, some ash, 
some birch and some chestnut. So most of this minus the pine, most of this will go into our piles over here for next year for burning in the house. So uh, that's it for this series here. This is the second part of our 18 day compost. Um, again, it's trial and error. I don't know all this stuff. It's funny when you have a YouTube channel, uh, you get all these keyboard warriors that start giving you a hard time about things. And, you know, some of the, some of their stuff is constructive and some of it's good. And then some of it, I just think people like to hear themselves talk. And, uh, I don't know, man, you, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, you know, Michael Jordan took a whole bunch of game win game winning shots, right? And he missed a bunch of them too, but nobody ever talks about his misses. They talk about the ones that he makes. So, you know, when you get things right, that's what people talk about. Don't worry about some of the people that are going to give you a hard time because it's just part of your journey. It's not part of their journey. So as always, uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow us along. Uh, we are definitely getting closer and closer to that thousand subscriber mark. I do have stickers. Um, so if you're interested in stickers, you can email me at classhavenfarms at gmail.com. Uh, and, you know, send me your name, address, and all that, and I'll send you a sticker. And if you have a sticker for your channel, send me one, and we can go back and forth. Um, and make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook on Class Haven Farms. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one.